Hello, Baron Dipitis here with another video for the board game shelf. Here we have Reign of Cthulhu. Um, this is based on the pandemic system. Um, this is basically Cthulhu pandemic. If you've heard of the board game pandemic, um, we actually used to own the original pandemic. Um, and as I've mentioned in a previous board game shelf video, I have played Pandemic Legacy Season 1. Uh, we do not have Pandemic anymore because... Personally, I, I I tend to be a very big theme kind of person. Like, you know, for, for me, I, I, I get immersed in board games when I really love the theme. And Pandemic by itself, like in like the core version, the core basic version of Pandemic is something I kind of, I don't really enjoy the theme of like zombie apocalypse, like potent, like zombie apocalypses or, or like, uh, I mean, Pandemic is not necessarily that. But it is about, you know, multiple worldwide pandemics that you're, uh, diseases you're trying to um, control. And having been through, uh, having recently been through the COVID-19 pandemic, that's, uh, it just still feels a little too real. Um, I would much rather, however, there are several other games um, using the same exact, using the same mechanics, but in with different settings. The Reign of Cthulhu is one of them, so, you know, the mechanics of the pandemic game with Cthulhu on top of it. Uh, I'm also aware of there's a World of Warcraft version with like the the scourge of the Ice Crown, Winter King, uh, or something like that. Um, there's also I know there's also one that's based on like the Fall of Rome, where instead of a disease, it's or instead of a disease or infection, it's more like a rebellion that's like you know seeding its way through. Um, but yeah, so um, I do think that pandemic is a very is is a great um, and very well designed game, and that's why I would rather have a version of Pandemic with a theme that I appreciate more than, you know, a uh, one that uh, isn't so that uh, isn't so too like real essentially. Um, I'll admit I have not played this version of Pandemic yet, but uh, here's the board. It looks really cool. Basically going around. Um, like different places in Lovecraft, in, uh, in the in the Cthulhu mythos, Arkham, Innsmouth, Kingsport, Dunwich, uh, or Dunwich, or however you say it. Uh, so yeah, so I have not played this version of Pandemic yet, so I don't know exactly how it's played, but I am aware of like basic mechanics of, you know, trying to deal with like diseases or infections and things like that. And I imagine there's probably some extra, there's, there's probably some extra little things as well that are thematic are like appropriate to the theme but it looks like um just like in pandemic you have a character with different like abilities it looks like um and yeah just like different um different things that happen uh different locations uh i do appreciate the fact i do like the fact that uh, there are um miniatures in here and miniatures are always uh are always a lot of fun you can tell i haven't really like pack this up yeah because the game came with these bags and i haven't really used them um but yeah so we got like little little miniatures of of, of cultists here kind of like risk a little bit but yeah these these hooded cultists um a special a special dice <clears throat> looks like you got miniatures for various like abominations and horrors and it looks like we have a miniature for each uh, character you can be, essentially. Um, so yeah, uh, each, each of these characters over here. Um, not sure why these are all like combined and everything. Anyway, clearly I haven't yet figured out exactly how to like sort all, sort all of these, but yeah, there you go. Um, we don't have Pandemic, but we do have Cthulhu Pandemic, essentially. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, <clears throat> I do look forward to trying this out. Um, I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll be great. It was made by the same people who made the original uh, the original game, and yeah, I would have been happy with the World of Warcraft one or the Fall of Rome one or or this one. Uh, I think we got this one mainly because we, uh, my wife and I, we we like Cthulhu Mythos games. Um, we clearly have a bunch of them, and this was just this would just be another good addition to the collection. So. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed, and until next time, all the best.